Encounter. An encounter is an unexpected meeting with someone or something. We humans encounter other humans every day, randomly meeting people or passing them by on the street, each with their own free will, free of containment. The ocean has always enchanted humanity, and perhaps no resident of the ocean is more inspiring than the dolphin. With an encephalization quotient of 4.2 and a highly gyrated brain, the Tersiops, or common bottlenose dolphin, is among the most intelligent creatures on the planet. It stands to reason that we as a species would want to interact with this majestic marine mammal up close, but at what cost? One of the world's most known establishments that keep captive dolphins in the United States is SeaWorld. As of 2018, there are 140 dolphins confined to seven tanks at four SeaWorld locations across the United States. Though each of these tanks have millions of gallons of seawater, dolphins in the wild are accustomed to traveling up to 60 miles per day and can dive as deep as 1,500 feet, a feat impossible in those concrete tanks. So why is it bad to have dolphins in an enclosed tank? Luis Herman is quoted as saying dolphins are our cognitive cousins. They exhibit characteristics that are rare in the animal kingdom. Dolphins in the wild have complex social groups they interact with fluidly. Confining dolphins together forces relationships and makes dolphins exhibit a aggressive behavior not seen in the wild. Dolphins can also understand abstract concepts, they have object permanency, foreplaning where they plan steps to achieve their goal, self-recognition, observing themselves in a mirror and they realize it's truly them. Even cultural traditions pass through generations, such as a population off the Georgia coast exhibits strand feedings where they push fish up on the muddy shore to, uh, to trap them, and so these are not dumb animals. That's why keeping them in small concrete enclosures is just not right. It's detrimental to their health. Echolocation used for finding food um, echoes immensely in these concrete enclosures, so they get confused. And there's just not enough mental stimulus in these tanks for dolphins, or any odontocete for that matter. Fact remains that humans want to see these creatures. We are just so mystified by the dolphin's intelligence, but containment is just not a viable option for their well-being. However, there is a solution to this plight. Dolphin Encounter, located in Kaikoura, New Zealand, has found a way for humans to interact with dolphins on their own accord. Those who participate in this ecotourism adventure are given wetsuits, snorkels, and a chance to see dolphins in the wild. Kaikoura is geographically located next to a deep oceanic valley that dusky dolphin pods call home. Dusky dolphins are among the smallest porpoise species, measuring only 5 to 7 feet long. These are also very vocal, and once in the water, participants can often hear their echolocation. At Dolphin Encounter, 
there is no guarantee to see a dolphin. The animals must choose to investigate the boat, and feeding the animals is illegal in New Zealand. Dolphin encounters in the 1,000 meter deep water can last as short as a few seconds or as long as 40 minutes. This is the way humans and dolphins can interact. Both species must choose to encounter one another, not be forced into it.